Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Slash You Podcast. It's me, Derek. What accent that was? <laughs> that was tired that accent. Was, it sounded like. <laughs> yeah, that was. I was at Warp Tour yesterday, and I'm just. I'm still tired. Um. Oh, yeah. Anyway, Derek here. I uh, I'm with Jordan and Jesse, and yeah. we are going to we're going to talk about um some stuff. I I have some things to chat about. Jordan has some things to chat about. Mm-hmm. Jesse did yoga, intense yoga, so he's tired. <laughs> um, I took a nap today. That's why I have energy. I I literally like rolled into my room and like turned on my computer 15 minutes ago so uh from work so i did not get to take a nap unfortunately but uh we'll get this we'll get this show on the road with uh we'll start with jordan chit-chatting about some some blizz blahs blues i will try to keep your uh ears to the video games Okay, so what? what? Uh, the first thing, <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I have to talk about is um, Hearthstone uh, Blizzard released a new uh, a trailer, and then also, which is quite funny. I- I've always liked the, uh, the little trailers that they do for the Hearthstone expansions. Uh, new Hearthstone expansion coming out. It is titled "The Knights of the Frozen Throne." So Death um, Knight Land. We, everyone's going to be going up to North Ren finally with uh, all the card. Well, I mean, there's already kind of some Northrend themed cards and whatnot because they did um, mm-hmm. the Grand Tournament, which had some things that were themed from uh, mm. the uh, Argent Tournament. Do um, they have a yeah. Death Knight class in that game? So, this is the expansion that they tackle that um, thing because the Hearthstone has been out, I want to say, for three years, four years. It was in like beta for a know. long time. And yeah, I, I know. That's why I'm, I'm not sure if you would consider that if that was when the game was out. Because, I mean, it was out to play. No, it just like official wasn't release. official. Yeah, I don't know. But, you know, it's been out for a while. And um, that's been one of the things that, you know, there's been nine classes in the game that you can play as you can do. Hunter, Priest, Mage, Rogue, Warrior, uh, Paladin, Warlock. Shaman. Priest? Shaman. Yes. So, Nine. Um, and so obviously everyone's been like, oh, well, when are you going to add Death Knights as the 10th class? Oh, Death Knights as the 10th class. Everyone wants to play Death Knights. <laughs> so, <laughs> finally, Blizzard can shut all those people up. Um, so, you know, they, the biggest thing here uh, that they go through is, you know, oh, well, we're going to Northrend, you know, we're going to go and face the Lich King himself in Ice Crown Citadel. So, how do you go about bringing all the characters, you know, all the, uh, the Hearthstone characters up there? Well... The answer is kill everyone. So, oh. all of the nine Hearthstone heroes uh, are getting a new card. Or I, I guess the game is getting a new type of card. So right now there are spell cards, there are minion cards, mm-hmm. there are weapon cards, uh, there are quest cards, um, and now the newest type of card is hero card. Death cards. Um, oh. And so the hero card... Is essentially all of the uh, characters have been turned into Death Knights. Um, okay. So I'm going to send just so you can see the picture that I'm looking at because it's really cool. I like the art that they did. Um, if you scroll down, like not that very far down, uh, right under the title "The Lord, the Lord of the Scourge," you can see the the picture. Um, so yeah, you know, yeah. I think I've seen some of these actually. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, they have, uh, you know, you have Jaina, Uther, Rexar, Valera, um, Garrosh, Thrall, Malfurion, Anduin, and Gul'dan, and they're all mm-hmm. in dead some form of way <laughs> of a dead, dead version of themselves or a Death Knighty version mm-hmm. of themselves. Um, yeah. So the other thing being at so that that's a whole thing is you know they're adding a whole new uh, hero card which some people were like well what about Jaraxxus because Jaraxxus is already a card that's been in the game since uh, I think that's been in the game since the beginning I think that's part of the original set and he replaces Gul'dan as a hero but mm-hmm. apparently these ones are different um, these ones are gonna have battle cries 
and um, some of them will give, uh, I guess, armor. Um, and then they'll give you a new hero power. That's that's the big thing is having a, a totally new, different hero power. So they've only released so far Rexars, and um, he has this one. It's pretty cool. It's build a beast, so he can combine uh, two different. He gets to choose from three random cards twice, uh, three random beast cards twice, and it combines the mana cost and whatever the text is on those cards. So like there can hmm. there's a whole bunch of different combinations that that can go under. Um, and then, uh, you know, they're adding a bunch of different, uh, Ice Crown themed, uh, enemy cards and whatnot, or minion cards. Um, they're, they're adding a new, uh, card text called Lifesteal, which, um, any, it, it, like, anything that does damage, it'll heal you for that amount of damage that it does. There's a couple of cards mm-hmm. already in the game that kind of do that, but this is the first time that they're actually having it be on the card saying Lifesteal. Um, gotcha. There will be a new uh, a playing board, and uh, this is the first expansion that they've done so far. So this is going to be um, ca- a card pack expansion. So you know you'll be able to pre-purchase fifty card packs for fifty bucks if you want. Um, but in <laughs> addition, this is also going to be an adventure expansion. So they have not they have not done this yet. Um, and the special thing with this is this adventure expansion will be free. Um, rather than give cards, certain, like, specific cards at the end of each wing, which is what they've done in the past with the adventure expansions, um, you'll mm-hmm. get card packs. So, doing the okay. doing the expansion, or I'm sorry, the uh, adventure actually gets you card packs. Um, which could be kind of cool. I, I mean, I, I, I want to say that each wing would give you... Like, probably five cards. So, I mean, if you're getting a card pack from each wing, uh, you know, a card pack contains five cards anyway, so it's kind of an even trade-off. But if they're adding yeah. a whole bunch of cards, then it's still in tight. You know, they still want you to buy those card packs. So um, my, problem with that, I've, my problem with not being in Hearthstone for a long time is that jumping into this after not playing for, like, a year and a half, like, it seems like... My, the, I don't want to spend say, a, a shit ton of money on cards just to feel like I have a chance in the ladder because I want to say usually that what is happens. that is definitely something that they that they definitely need to work on in some shape or form of a uh, a catch up system. Um, for if you yeah if you haven't been out or if, I'm sorry if you have been out for you know two expansions three expansions plus. You know, yeah, you're obviously going to be missing out on like literally hundreds of cards that could be very mm-hmm. helpful, especially with this being an adventure expansion. You know, it could be very helpful. You know, there's a lot of um, uh, specific strategy that can go into some of these bosses because of the uh, special cards that they can play or their special hero powers. So mm-hmm. it definitely would be nice if they were to tackle that, you know, somehow. I don't know what they would do exactly. I mean, I don't see them just straight up giving you free cards. But yeah, that wouldn't be very fair. I if if they were to do some more, um, <laughs> some more Heroes of the Storm special events that <laughs> give you card packs, I don't yeah. know. That would be the only thing I could see them doing: giving you card packs for free. I would um, like it if maybe they game. maybe if they put more cards in the card pack itself, so that. It oh, would that's be... true. Like, because you get five, you get five, and then the other problem is that again they're completely random. So you can get the same end, ones you, you get, already have. Yeah, you get doubles all the time. So yeah. building up your, because I remember in the base game, like it really wasn't like you needed to build a deck around like your class and stuff like that. Yeah. But you didn't really necessarily need all of the cards to like be able to handle yourself on the ladder. Um, until yeah, you just got, like, like a, super a couple, high. a couple handful of good like cards, whatever for what whatever themed deck that you were doing. You know, mm-hmm. if you're doing a death rattle threat, a, a death rattle deck, you need to have a lot of death rattles. Mm-hmm. Um, those are uh, actually coming back again, more prominent with this expansion. Just right. Um, the the first expansion that they did was, uh, I think it was the first one. I'm pretty sure it was the first one. Was uh, Noxramus. Um, and so yeah. a lot of death death rattle cards came out with that. So it'll be interesting to see in Wild 
Um, I don't know if you guys know, but Hearthstone, ever since last year sometime? I know this is the second year, but the, I think, yeah, last year was the first year that they did it. Um, they, bro they broke the game basically in half for the, uh, the you know, ranked and unranked. It is now uh, wild or standard. So standard, you gotcha. can only use certain decks, that, like the current decks in standard, but wild you can use literally any of the decks that they have out there. So for standard, do they give you do they give you the deck, or do you still have to own the cards? To so it? what I mean, uh, you need you can only use your cards that you have, but they have to be um, like the most recent expansions. Um, okay. So hmm. well, it's kind of like how Magic works, Jesse, where right. you have to use like the current year plus like. I forget how exactly it works, but it's like I think it's like the you have to use yeah they're you have like to on use year sixteen anything now or something yeah what was that like magic sound like year sixteen or something like that now yeah so well I it's kind of like this so like they release like the the two thousand and sixteen like edition game and then they release a bunch of expansions for that and then the twenty seventeen comes out so when the twenty seventeen comes out you can use that and any of the expansions from the previous year but not the original game or something like that it's, or I forget how exactly it works but um, they have like a year long basically right. like you can use these expansions from this past year oh I didn't even see actually and that's I, how like uh, that's how tournaments work in magic at least they they actually just uh, did it I guess the first of this month I didn't see this um, all all the wild sets, including expansions and adventures, are once again available. They took them off the shop, um, but now you can purchase them again. I did not know that. Oh, cool. So, in the event that you have some extra money and you want to play and get caught up with all the wild, uh, you know, adventures back then, so that's Noxoramus, Goblins and the Gnomes, the uh, Grand Tournament, Black Rock Mountain, League of Explorers. Um, all of them. Yeah, kinda, like, there's a lot. <laughs> I kind of wish that the game just had an option for me to buy all the cards for the class that I want to play. So like I could, so that I could build a deck that I want with the class that I want to play as. Because um, again, but where it, would they get all their money from, Jesse? I get from <laughs> buying the class, and there's ten, there's nine classes. <laughs> so, but they need people to keep buying packs over and over and over and over and over. I know, but there's two different things. So there's wild and uh, standard, standard or whatever. Yeah. So I could yeah. buy all the cards for wild and play that. Well, if people want to play standard, they can do the pack stuff. Uh, like that's yeah, my... I, I, exactly what Jesse's saying is that, you know, you can you can do that. And, I mean, yeah, you would have all the cards that you would be able to use for wild, but you can use the standard cards in wild as well. Right. So if there is, you know, a super game-breaking card that, you can get in one of the new like in this uh knights of the frozen throne expansion you know you would be playing in wild and then maybe someone has it and then they play it on they they always play it or whatever you always run into it um the one card that i can think of that that happened with um before they even did standard and wild it was just always in the meta like everyone had it in all their decks was dr boom and just everyone used it because it was just such a good card yep but um yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I, sh yeah. I should I should have clarified that you can you can use the standard cards in wild as well. You just can't use the wild cards in standard. Right. Yeah, it's a it's a weird game. Yeah. And I, I think I don't know it's like, how it's just like a card game. Yeah. <laughs> if you I don't keep, know how... if you keep up with it, I feel like that I mean, I have I don't have like all of the Ungoro cards by any means, but I have a good chunk of them at least. Um the, I, I still haven't done a couple of the other past expansions. Like, I never did League of Explorers myself. I never did One Night in Karazhan. Or Karazhan, Karazhan. Right. Um, and then I have a good chunk of the the Gadgetsand one. The Gadgetsand and the Old Gods. But, you know, those are those are the uh, standard decks right now. So I already i am missing out on a giant chunk of those with uh, One Night in Karazhan or whatever. But it was an right. adventure expansion. And with the adventure expansions, you got to pay for um, doing the the wings, and then you have to, you know, you don't just get the card. 
<clears throat> you don't just get the cards, and maybe that's what people some people like. Some people like to just get the card packs because then they just get the cards. They don't have to risk losing and fighting again and again. Um, yeah. I I personally like the bo- the boss fights, but it'd be kind of interesting if they did like pre-made decks for each expansion hmm. that you could buy um like how oh oh other, I s- so like, like physical um, card games do things you're so you're talking about like oh yeah yeah like um if like you were to just games, buy like, like Pokemon, the garage pack yeah and then it has like a specific theme for just just the warrior deck yeah for that expansion okay that's yeah. kind of what i was going for I thought you meant, like, you could go in and say, all right, I want to buy every card that could be used in the Paladin deck, period. Okay, like, yeah, no, well, well I mean, no, there's... I... That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, if they made, like, a like a pre-made deck pack instead of instead of saying, oh, yeah, like, you have to buy a bunch of um, boosters to make your deck, they can say, all right, this is a deck that'll, you know, work in, like, standard lower or whatever. tier standard stuff. You might not, you know, be the best. It's, not the, it's definitely not the best. Yeah, it's, deck it out won't there, be game but... breaking, but it'll be, av- you know, slightly above average of whatever you can make just with what you have. Um, yeah, exactly. Because that's the thing is, no matter what in in standard or wild or whatever, you always have the standard card, uh, the card set. Um, yeah. Which that's they they've slightly changed it this year there's a couple cards that they actually removed from it and moved them to wild just because mm-hmm. everyone was using them but um gotcha they uh you know they a lot of times i don't really see anyone winning games with and a just basic deck you know you, yeah. you gotta have some some good cards in there yeah yeah i i want to know right. how numbers wise this game is doing um because money wise like profit wise yes um because yeah i don't think i don't think it's as popular as it was when it first came out and even these like last couple expansions i i haven't heard any sort of hype for um and i think that's the problem like it's not a they gotta figure out a way how to draw people back in that left and also bring i mean the theme of this one is is enough for a lot of people because i think a lot of people that played wow had and even warcraft 3 have a lot of like nostalgia for um lich king and like all that kind of stuff so it might draw them back in but i don't like it's the one night in karazhan thing i don't think it drew a ton of people do you want to know how much money blizzard made in 2016 with hearthstone oh boy wait can i make a guess basically yeah um wait is it by percentage or like actual dollar value no this is an actual dollar value it's um how much they made in it's their right. yearly revenue for 2016 um, the entire year of 2016 uh five million <clears throat> that's way low i know that oh uh 15 million um J- jesse do you want to take a guess I'm probably get like 300 million 400 million. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's a um, lot of cards. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, think of how many people play it. So Dude, it's, it has a ton of people that play it. I've seen. And just think of like, <sighs> just think of like if, if every person buys an average of like, I don't know, 10 packs. <laughs> Um, so there's there some streamers. Like 150 million. I- I've seen streamers that'll buy like literally like 200 packs, like sitting down, just like, yeah. oh yeah, no problem. It's like that's what, what happens the hell, when, they, when the game comes out. The a bunch of streamers just have card opening streams. Yeah, yeah. The same thing happens with Overwatch and and loot boxes. People just do loot box opening videos. Yeah, but like you can't win the game with loot boxes in Overwatch. That's that's like the one difference no. I will say in in loot box or loot crate whatever format of uh getting getting items or whatever is that like you can't win the game with cosmetic stuff. Yeah. It's yeah. it's all about winning the game with like skill and uh, right. And <laughs> and <ability. luck. laughs> um sure. <laughs> but uh for for that game I would say those loot boxes, you know, you don't, you can't win 
with those loot boxes. But I mean, you know, Heroes of the yeah. Storm, um, Hearthstone, uh, what is it? Call of Duty even did it. You know, you could get certain guns. I guess you could say that you could. Yeah, win. you can get weapons and power ups and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you're actually yeah, Gears of War, the most recent one, had done a uh, a loot box thing. Or, or, or they oh, did really? they did cards. Yeah, it was kind of I don't know. I, I don't like it. I um, I don't know why they didn't just yeah. make uh, them our, unlockables. I don't want to like rush, but at the same time, it's been like twenty minutes. So right, right, right. Sorry, sorry. Um, uh, I will. Want, I'm do gonna, you have anything else? Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, I I have uh, just one more thing to or two like minor things to jump through real quick. Okay, um, minor things because I have something that could take a little bit to talk about. Uh, this week is the uh, time walking event for Burning Crusade, and I jumped into. Yep. Uh, the Black Temple, I did that last night. It was really fun. It was difficult. Um, and it just made me think of, like, uh, you know, the, the ability to to go back and experience nostalgia and mm-hmm. remember that, oh, wait, wow, this wasn't actually that good. Or, you know, more, more or less be reminded that, oh, wow, you know, things are much better now um, is very interesting. Um just recently, you know, with playing Crash Bandicoot, it's much harder than I remember it. But, you know, it looks mm-hmm. great, looks awesome. You know, that's completely redone. Something like this. Um, all they did really was tweak the numbers as far as it goes for the damage done, the damage you take, blah, yeah, blah, blah, whatever. Yeah, the same, they, right? they scaled it. Um, and, you know, it's it's really cool. I, I do I do like that they have done this. I... I see them. I, I definitely see them doing this for other raids and whatnot, but it just mm-hmm. it makes me ask the question of whether or not um, uh, you know experiencing nostalgia like this is it something that is it I don't know like required for the future like um, is this something that we'll always have I guess we will always have the need to want to go back I guess. Um, yeah. And in, in particular, now this, I'm switching now from, or I'm kind of switching from that point um, to another a prediction made by this. Uh, he is an industry analyst um, talking about mm-hmm. the PlayStation 5, and it may be closer than okay. we expect. Um, he expects, he, or predicts, I don't think he expects, I think he predicts that it will be coming out in either 2019 or 2020. So in the next two or three years, um, mm-hmm. and he said he predicts that it will be a half step from the PS4 Pro. Um, his prediction being that um, perhaps by this time half of uh, the American uh, what is it half of the American economy will be will have uh, 4K t- uh, TVs, you know, or half okay. half of the market will have 4K TVs. Um, yeah. and so with that being, you know, it'll be a new console, you know, the PS4 pro has 4k games right now. So it only makes sense for them to take from the PS you'll be able to play the PS4 pro games on this P- PlayStation five. But yeah, y- you know, it, it would be interesting. I don't know. Uh, you know, the PS4 released back in 2013. So, you know, it's been yep. four years, another Another um, two to three years, you know, it'll be, uh, uh, shit, wow. <laughs> it'll be, uh, what, seven years old? <laughs> um, yeah, or six, yeah. six or most, seven years old? Most consoles, their life cycle is like four to five years, so. And, and so yeah. what, what, they're say- what he's saying or what he's suggesting from this is that um, it's the same length as uh, the PS2, and it's a year less than the PS1 and the PS3, so... Yeah. If they're following that, tr- if Sony is following this trend, then 2019 or 2020, we'll see the next uh, actual console. You know, we won't see a PS4 Pro 2, I don't think. But yeah. but this kind of will be, in a sense, because it'll, if it plays the same games as it, what's what's going to be new about it? What's going to be different? You know, is it going to yeah, have it's just, it, it, more processing It's the way power? that it's, the consoles are going, yeah. is it's just, they're pretty much just hardware upgrades. Yep. Yeah. There, I mean, it's gonna be the same thing, basically, just better. I mean, it's how, it's basically how consoles have been 
since the PS2 and P uh, and Xbox 360. I mean, they've been you mean PS3? the same technology. The yeah, PS3. Well, P- PS2 too as well, kind of. Um, because they've just been, and they think about it, the controllers haven't changed much. Well, yeah, yeah, that's it's true. just like yeah, they yeah. play, they use discs still, they play the same, you know, like main games. Like it's the they're just hardware upgrades. I honestly think that and, we're gonna start moving away from discs now that you mentioned that. Yeah, um, because I, it's not only uh, your the discs can only read so much so quickly. Mm-hmm. And no matter what, like you're never gonna get better than uh, having. Well, that's a why everything has memory. to freaking download now. R- right, and yeah. I um, like even playing Final Fantasy 15 or like Bloodborne when that game first came out. Like there were minute long loading scenes. Uh, yeah. And for Bloodborne, you died a lot, so like that sucked <laughs> when that game first came yeah. out because you had to wait a ton <laughs> of time. And yeah. um, so, like, I think that even Nintendo's, like, getting on the, the right train here with, like, putting everything on, like, cartridges again. Um, yeah. And it's just cheaper. So it'll be it'll be it interesting is. to see what they do. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I mean, I, oh, sorry. I don't I don't want to get on, like, the 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 down, like, are we going to be downloading games in the future thing? Because we've already done that. Um, and we all, like the answer is like obviously it's going to happen eventually and i'm not going to like it but whatever <laughs> um was there anything else jordan uh no i i just finished my uh my last bit okay. there so the thing that i'm bringing up is a pretty big change in uh topic sort of but you're pregnant uh, i'm pregnant <laughs> i'm having a baby uh not mine. me and myself <laughs> impregnated me and yeah anyway uh so it is uh the topic of video games to television or the big screen um we've seen a handful of games kind of get uh uh movie releases the two ones that immediately off the top of my head within the past year or two have been warcraft and um assassin's creed oh that's right Um, still need to see warcraft but uh, it's don't even bother. <laughs> it's it's so very pretty, not good. but uh, it it's okay. Like the, it's the okay CGI if you was know the they lore. definitely put in money to the CGI. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, and it makes it makes sense if you know the lore, but it leaves a lot to be wanted. You have to be a um, fan of it, yeah, in order to like it. Yeah, <laughs> like if you didn't know anything about the if you don't know anything about Warcraft and you go see the movie, you're like, what the what the fuck is going on? But um. The thing that the reason I wanted to bring this up is because Netflix just got the Castlevania anime. Oh, I actually which I've only watched. Oh, whoops. <laughs> what are you gonna say? I watched all of it. <laughs> oh, I've only watched the first couple episodes, um, and it's really good. <laughs> so that's kind of what made me think of this topic. Um, I forgot and, to also and, want to talk and, about this. I forgot that was video games. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's sweet. <laughs> um, um yeah so i don't know if you want to talk about that jordan without spoiling anything I, I, for me. well no i mean i i will say i do recommend it i like it a lot however you said yeah. you're only a couple you've only watched a couple episodes yeah because i have bad news for you if you didn't already know there's only four episodes for the season oh yeah i know okay so that is that is the one um, downside. It got, is such a they tease. got um they got thumbs up for season two. So I would hope so. I mean, it's freaking be... four episodes. <laughs> I imagine season two coming out two months from now. You know, freaking eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. But yeah, it's really good and it's really well done, and I was impressed uh, at how I well it was, it was done. I thought it was kind of quiet at and... parts. I, I had to like really I don't know maybe it was just my TV or just the part some of the parts when they were talking. Oh, your ball. I thought you meant like, yeah. Oh no, yeah. I, I didn't mean that. like story wise uh, or anything. It's definitely loud and violent. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it is not. Um, it is an anim- but so, animation. So, but it is definitely not for kids. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's a Castlevania game, and those are typically. Uh, blood and gore and Satan. So. Do I need to know anything about Castlevania um, to enjoy the anime, though? 
Uh, do you know anything no, about really. Dracula? I mean, he's a vampire. There you go. That's all you need to know. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> I've watched um, speedruns of Castlevania. But so that right got there. me thinking. Yeah. 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 Um, that got me thinking about like other things. Like uh, I know in the past we've been teased with you know they're going to make a Splinter Cell movie and you know I haven't heard anything about that in forever and they're going to make a Last of Us movie and again like that has kind of gone dark. Um, I would rather just have them come out with the second game already because that yeah such a good game that game is yeah. is a movie <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. um and then the other thing that i found out is that they're potentially um and by potentially i mean they're pretty much starting to make a movie based on little nightmares oh um with the um russo brothers who did um Winter Soldier and um, Civil War, and also the director of Nightmare Before Christmas, um, Henry Selleck. So hmm. that could potentially be really awesome. Um, but you know, I, I kind of want to talk about you know your guys' preference. With like, would you would you rather a game that you enjoy kind of be made into a movie or like a TV series? Because like. Right now, all I can think of is anytime I see a video game movie, it's bad. And um, not that I can think of many TV shows that are based on games, but the Castlevania one has kind of like shown me, oh, wow, these could actually be pretty cool as a series. I can think of one right away that you would watch in a heartbeat. An animated, What's that? An animated Overwatch show. Oh yeah, well yeah, we just talked about that. Like uh, an Overwatch anime would be so crazy cool. Like I don't know how they and it would how be they a way haven't for them... jumped on that. I mean, with all the uh, praise and whatnot that the most recent trailer got, I don't know how like a game, uh, uh, some animation studio hasn't jumped on it and been like, "We're making one." <laughs> I don't know how Blizzard hasn't been like, "Let's just do a TV show with Overwatch," or like. Uh, I don't say I don't say War, War, Warcraft because that wouldn't really work as a TV show. Um, I, I have like, you ever seen Overwatch? The Guild? Just like I have never watched the Guild. Oh really? Yeah, it's actually pretty funny. Um, that I um, mean I won't say that that takes place around World of Warcraft, but more or less just MMO players in general. Yeah, that that follows the life of them rather than like the story in game. Is it a and documentary? I feel, yeah. Oh no no no! It's a it's a it's like a kind of a comedy a comedy is yeah, it like it's a video comedy. game high school kind of no no it's it's not like that no um <laughs> okay it's it's kind of fun it just it follows just it follows specifically behind the there there's like a priest um player and it follows around her in her real life but she also interacts with uh her other uh guild mates mm-hmm. um in in real life and whatnot IRL yeah, which is uh, something, I mean, I really, like, you, Derek, and Jesse, that's it. That's, I mean, well, I, I have a couple yeah. of, of other guild friends on, like, Facebook, but I don't interact with them necessarily in real life. Although, I there was yeah, one... Yeah, like, face-to-face. There was one I did went, and I uh, I went to go and see the Avengers with. I remember that, but... Oh, really? Yeah, that was literally the first Avengers when that came out. I went and uh, saw that with him, and... Um, another friend of mine but uh uh as, as far as it goes for sorry going, going back on topic with so what video game we would like to be seen made into what into either a movie or, or yeah like do you think one my original question was like do you think games you know, now that you've seen a anime that you actually really like that was a video game like do you think that games are more um fitting to be uh converted to a series or do you think that like they still have a chance in on the big screen because here's i can't think of many video game movies that did well and are good um Um, i don't know about jumping to the big screen however the silver screen of tv and netflix uh which i guess is still considered tv um yeah i would say it 
kind of needs to be something like this Castlevania did really well. Um, in my opinion, I know it has a whole bunch of lore. Castlevania has a whole bunch of lore. Yeah. Um, but you know, if we're if we're talking about just the first game, you know, it's not like a lot of things were said like in the game, like story wise and whatnot. You know, it just kind of happened. You know, there was some was te- anything said. I think there was like some text, <laughs> some like text screens or whatever. But like you know, they didn't have you know voice remember. acting and whatnot. So I'm thinking yeah. what they need, what they would need to do for like a good um, animated. Uh, video game translation to TV would be something that has, you know, a lot of story, but if they're following, like, a specific game um, or a specific story arc or whatever, it needs to be something that yeah. in the game they didn't really explain a lot so that they can explain it in the TV series. So the one that comes to mind right away is Metroid. Um, I would, is what? Metroid. Metroid. Yeah. So I, w- I would watch I mean, a Metroid anima- animation, you know, that follows... Well, what about live action? Because that's more what I was thinking, like... Live action uh, tends to get cringy. <laughs> um, I think I, know. I think you already you already said it yourself that, you know, I, I, most of the live action have gone to movies. I, I don't think that there's a video game yeah. that is translated to live action TV that I can think well. of. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't think of anyone, any of them ex, ex, at all. Um, there was a Mega yeah. Man animated series, and I mean, although the it was very uh, yeah, Saturday morning cartoony, whatever, it was... Same with the Sonic animated Oh, yeah, that's right, series. yeah, Sonic, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. There have been some animated, and Super Mario Bros. had an animated In season. general, all like, of those have done well. They're all old, though. Um, yeah. I can't, I'm, I was trying to think, like, I didn't have much time to think about this, but... Um, I was trying to think of like other games that recently like got anything oh, other um, than Pokemon because Pokemon's been forever. You know, um, one that would be uh, uh, that kind of brought a lot to light or whatever was uh, Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It Ralph brought a bunch of different video game. I mean, that was from yeah. that was like a uh, that wasn't like specific to any video game story or whatever, but you know, it brought yeah. the video game characters out there at least. There's a sequel um, coming yeah. for that, I think. As oh, well. eventually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're working on it. it. I th- didn't Kirby have a TV series too? Oh uh, yes, he did. Yeah, it, it was did. on uh, Fox or Four Kids or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. Like, as far as like my opinion goes on video games to any sort of medium that aren't uh, games themselves. Games. The <laughs> there's one of two ways that you can handle the because i know that everyone is just like oh my god make a legend of zelda netflix series please (laughs) um and they said they were gonna do it i don't i don't know if that's true or not but like let's let's hypothetically let's say that it's sure it's it's happening um and Mm -hmm. they could go about it one of two ways and it's gonna piss people off (coughs) either way they do it because some people are gonna want link to be silent Others are going to want him to talk. And it's... They have to be super careful with how they develop um, that to not... Like, because you're already, you're already going to... A wizard like, curses him and he can't talk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah. it's like... It's like, what would you do in that situation? Um, but then, like, you have other games where, sure, they were super loved by, um, by people. Um but might not necessarily translate well to a to a story medium um but the yeah. call like, of duty the movie yeah. <laughs> like the reason <laughs> the reason why the last of us um is getting a sequel is because the there's another story to tell within that universe right so yeah. if they're doing it just for the sake of doing it um with like no real purpose of like telling a story within the universe then I would say not like don't bother doing it. Um, yeah. So I don't know. Like The Witcher, I'm glad they're doing that one because um, I think that the universe. That's right. They're doing a, an anime or not an anime. They're doing a live yep. action Witcher exactly um, series. <laughs> the universe in that in that game series is vast and ridiculous, but they're not even going to follow yeah. the game version. They're going to go from the books, which is going to yeah. 
like the people that played the game are going to watch the series because it's going to go like it's going to be kind of based on the games but not necessarily and it's a whole another story that yeah. they wouldn't have experienced so it'll expand that world though mm-hmm. exactly which is why i desperately want an overwatch um show it can't overwatch i don't overwatch could not could not translate into a into a live action it would have to be animated the characters are just too like right out there um but the reason i want animated um overwatch series is because there's so much story with overwatch and they don't but it's not show it they, they don't like they they hint at it and like you can kind of piece it together and there's the comics and whatever but there's so much that could be told in like an animated series i think mm-hmm. that could really like expand upon the overwatch universe right. um and if it if it looks as good as that revealed trailer for Doomfist, then I'd be so on board. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know the other one, uh, <laughs> the other one that uh, would be kind of cool um, would be. Oh wait, no, oh no, no. Uh, I was just thinking of the the other live action that they did. They did actually do uh, Dead Dead or Alive, which is a fighting game series i know they did street fu- yeah they did street fighter but super Mo- there are some mortal super Kombat mario movies there's uh, some tomb raider movies oh yeah that's right tomb raider um hitman um mm, yep yeah. that got a movie oh uh, gosh all of those out of all those i think only the tomb raider one did okay and that's because angelina jolie was in it yeah and <laughs> <laughs> like the peak of her oh my god angelina jolie so yeah. oh my good <laughs> yeah supposedly they're doing a new one not with her, but like a reboot, um, a new Tomb Raider, like what? a reboot. <laughs> that series yeah. has been rebooted more times than I can the remember. Movie? No, I'd no, say no, Spider Man has series. been more, but uh, well, well I mean, <laughs> yeah, ge- as Movie far as wise. like sequential games, though. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, um, yes, yeah, he's they, saying game wise. They've, yeah, not... they've, they've rebooted it and then they did like two Movie other games wise. and then they rebooted it and they did like another game and then they did reboot it and then they did another two games. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, apparently the Tomb Raider movie is like actually happening. It's coming out March 16th of next year. Interesting. Huh. Neat. Yeah. It's like, um, a fa- Lara Croft's origin story. You know, there was a Far Cry movie. I don't remember if it was good or not, though, which probably means it probably wasn't good. <laughs> I didn't know about it, so. I, don't, I didn't yeah. either. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know. As far as, like, shooters go, like, if we're talking about, like, popular series or whatever. I mean, yeah. I don't see them making a specific, you know, Battlefield, the movie, or, you know. Yeah. Um, Angry Birds got a movie. Yeah, it did. That's right. <laughs> um, you know what would be interesting if they were to do it, and they'd have to do it right, um, would be Gears of War. I could. Well, then it's like how it's like how do you do it right? I, I know, could see them doing like a story, not the main characters, and yeah, somehow bring it along with that. But um, yeah, <laughs> it's just hard because like like jesse said earlier like these characters are in these universes are so like loved and like everyone knows everything about these things because people spend hours like looking into like little intricacies and and then you know this movie gets made and um it just it just doesn't translate well for whatever reason and uh i i think i i know i think i might know like a reason why some sometimes it doesn't translate well um and it's because um mediums and and uh as far as like games and movies are concerned like games and movies they're both telling a story but both happen are both are happening in a different way so movies the story is being told to you you're watching the story unfold happening and yeah. games you're actually the one doing it yourself so oh, yeah. okay yeah i get, I get what you're saying. so yeah, you have like a actually. right yeah. and you're having a certain attachment to the characters and like some characters like rpgs like you are the character so everything you do feels very yeah. personal so like that's yeah. um that's why sometimes it probably doesn't translate as well um yeah. so like 
I, I, I was thinking, um, cause like one of my favorite games of all time is, uh, you know, the Bioshock kind of franchise and those stories. Yeah. Um, and like, I would, I would be interested to see how that would pan out in movie form because infinite especially is kind of ridiculous. Um, and, but, and you think that Bioshock, do you think this is kind of going back to my original question? Like, do you think that would do better as like a movie or as a series? See, And I think that as I would say infinite would probably do better as a movie because Booker yeah. is, is not a silent protagonist. So like he's a fleshed sure. out character. Yeah. Uh, the original Bioshock would probably do better as uh a cv uh, could probably work as a series being in rapture um and they could give the character some sort of like twist that you wouldn't expect because it's again yeah like it's it's not voiced so they can put whatever personality they want on him or her yeah yep i would agree i think um bioshock infinite could work as a series but it could also because um you know it all takes place in like like this like the story could easily fit within like a you know two hour movie like if mm-hmm. if you pick the right parts obviously like when you're playing the, i guess the other thing that happens with movies or with games to movies is that you are taking like a you know however many hour game that you spend you know you spend 40 hours in a game like in going through the story and then you know it's cut down to two hours and you miss a lot of like little things that kind of help you go along in the story in the game and you know like act as like little surprises or whatever like they can't fit all that into a movie obviously right. yeah which is why i personally think that games could work better as a series versus versus movies because then you can you know you have much more time to kind of expand on little things right. or and, you know focus and on the, um, other stuff like it's kind of interesting because I actually speaking of game movies I ended up watching Advent Children a couple of nights ago um, oh, yeah. for Final mm-hmm. Fantasy yeah. so and I've never seen it and I just like finished watching a Final Fantasy 7 speedrun um, which mm-hmm. so like I kind of like know how the story goes and everything but like if I had not seen that speed run, I would have been completely lost. And <laughs> yeah. so yeah. that's how it is with like all the Final Fantasy movies. Right. And so they have again, <laughs> that's another thing of like what kind of audience are you gonna be making this series for? Because it's yeah. You're already kind of like going after a niche market with either a series or a movie. And you're mm-hmm. like that's why the Warcraft movie didn't do as well. I think because it it was going after the Warcraft audience, which was one that may or may not have wanted to see the movie in the first place. But then it, I think it mm-hmm. tried to pull everyone in that wasn't familiar with that. And so they had to make it more mainstream and like generalized. What, so what made Warcraft fail in my opinion is that they tried to tell a massive story right with lots of characters that there's that a lot of people know a lot about um and they tried to tell that story instead of they could have easily done like a warcraft movie where it was a like a lesser known character or like the origin story of like a specific character instead of doing this whole like how the orcs got to the earth how, sorry how or the orcs got to azeroth is just like that's such a massive thing to like introduce you into this world where there's these green alien orc people and like humans and you know all these characters and all these different like how they live and you know they're how orcs you know fight each other and to you know d- settle on arguments and it's like there's all this stuff that they're just like shoving down your throat yeah. and it's just too much for like a two hour movie it j- they should have what they should have done is focused on um and this is where warcraft would i guess work better as a series 
where they focus on like this is this character now this is this character and like the next episode yeah and now this is the orc coming to azeroth like if they had done like a three-parter where it was like here's the orcs and like what's going on with the orcs and and the fell and blah blah blah. and then they're like all right these are the humans and this is how their uh monarchy is set up and all these different races on Azeroth. Story, like, story, 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 story. Right now. <laughs> and then the third one could be like, oh shit, like now these worlds are are being, you know, merged together. Um, it just, yeah, like I said, it was just too much for one movie. They tackled too much when they should they, have done. They needed really you know, to. They could uh, have easily done it. Th- it's, it's something that, I mean, we see a lot with the. Maybe, I, maybe we shouldn't make the comparison, but um, with superhero movies, you know. We yeah. no one really wants um, origin stories anymore. Yeah. However, with something like that, with a brand new like, there's never been any other Warcraft movie out there and whatnot. So for yeah. the random schmo Joe, they need to have an origin story in order to have and it the wouldn't story really be stories. An, it, the, the way they would set it up is that it wouldn't be an origin story. It would have to be like a. Like, I guess it would kind of have to be an origin story in the sense that you're learning about, like, this race, but it could have just been, just you know, <laughs> Goldman's rise to power. Yeah. Like, focusing just on Much. that. And, like, the fell. Like, so you start off and, like, you have this race that is not demonic, and then you have this evil Goldan like, converting people. Like, that could have been the basis of the first movie. And then the second movie, I don't know what they could have focused on, because... Alliance is dumb, but <laughs> like they could have. I don't know what it would have been, on, but like, they would have been dumb. <laughs> <laughs> they could have focused on like the, I don't know, fucking, I don't know, something, <laughs> something humany and elfy, um, and then the third one, like I said, they could have done like the whole orcs coming to, coming to Azeroth, but I don't know. It's a pacing thing that that gets mixed up between bringing a game to a movie or a show exactly i guess more of a movie but um yeah, yeah. <laughs> i don't know like everyone I have, I have, like it would be awesome if we could get certain adaptations of certain things like i would love to see um I'm trying to think of like a movie that i would like to see as a video game that was actually would be a good game um and like trying to sp- well, then you get into another whole whole other topic where, where movie movie games are usually so rushed and like poorly executed that there's bad. Yeah, and again, it's like the medium thing where like one is being told to you and the other one is you're experiencing it. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, well, I think the movie to game thing is just a totally different story because these people want these games to be put out around the same time that the movie comes out because sales and you know. You're telling a two-hour. Now you're taking a two-hour movie, and you're trying to expand it <laughs> into a ten-hour game or yeah. whatever. Has there ever and been like a good a... game from a movie that we can think of? Like immediately, like the first thing that popped into my head was The Matrix, but I can't remember if that game was actually good or not, or if that was just nostalgia. <laughs> yeah, I never played it, <laughs> but I mean the the whole concept of The Matrix. I had it awesome. on like, yeah. Um, I remember having the Matrix game on, I think, PS2. Mm-hmm. I remember liking it, but I don't remember if it was because it was actually good or if it was just, like, me being a teenage boy going, oh, yeah, like, dodge the bullets. I think Spider-Man um, 2, for me, was probably my favorite one. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. But, again, I don't know if that was nostalgia or not, because all I remember is, like... Spider-Man 2, definitely. Main Spider-Man story. 2 is regarded with being one of the best Spider-Man games. So that one definitely... Yeah. Uh, was very good and it was loosely based off of yeah. the movie as well yeah yeah. I'm excited for the new Spider-Man game because it's not based on the movie yes. it's just a Spider-Man Same. game if they get the swinging right like that makes the whole game for me so yeah uh, ever since Which, um, I mean, Spider-Man 2 they've actually been doing it uh, you know like uh, logical that you know he's not attaching his webbing to like flying doves or something you know <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> like the first one where he's yeah. just like in he's attaching yeah, the god's just, tits just go any yeah you can you know swing in the middle of like i don't know the middle of central park above it <laughs> what yeah. <laughs> yeah there's nothing else the, there <laughs> the thing that spider-man 2 did really well was the momentum with it 
Like, it yeah. got, it felt right. And then I don't know, like the the trailers and are, are watching the E three stuff for the new Spider Man thing. Like, it looks a little slow, but I don't know because I'm not playing it. So, I'd have to, I'd have to yeah, f- see what that feels like. When does that come out? Does that come out mm, soon? I believe it's fall. It's a fall yeah, game. I, I do think believe. so. Is it? Eh. Spider Man game. Eh, hey, we gotta get them Spider Mans. Gotta get them Spider Mans. Mm. Um, this is useless. It's just coming soon. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, this is 2018. Maybe it's one of the early 2018 games. I don't know. Maybe. I'm positive it comes out this year. Remember. Me. Oh, um, here's another thing. I don't know if you guys plan on getting it. I don't. Um, but Fortnite that came out. I was looking at it. Like I sent that to you. I was like when I first saw the trailer before E3. I was like, this looks like it could be interesting. Uh, but yeah, I, do, I I'm not interested in it. I I really wish that Epic went in another direction. Um, it looks yeah. the first as fir- the first time or now that I'm seeing more screenshots and whatnot of it, it looks very much. Yeah. I don't know if they were going for this look or not, but it looks a lot like Sunset Overdrive um, for the Xbox One, yeah. which um, has a very similar esque thing where you know you're. I mean, this one is co op, but which is like the one thing that Sunset Overdrive was missing. But um, you fight, yeah. you know, a bunch of horde of all these kind of creature zombie-esque minions and whatnot. And there's occasionally there's special ones that are different and you have, you know, different yeah. weapons and whatnot, but, uh, this one's co-op. And then, I mean, you can build, it gives a, uh, like a tower defense, um, yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, and then my brother was talking with me more about destiny Two, And that comes up. Excited for that. I, I think the beta starts soon, or is going on, or starts soon, or whatever. Next I don't. I haven't pre-ordered some, it. So. I think it's next week. It's it's July. I know is that. It? I just saw a thing that says um, how much space you'll need um, for when you want to and when you can play it. So it says it's. Uh, I saw they're doing a uh, Destiny Two PS4 Pro that's white, like my mm-hmm. PS4, mm-hmm. and it, it made me. It made me go, oh fuck. <laughs> gonna get it the controllers will match that <laughs> uh, I just like I just like the white playstation it just looks so cool no I'm not gonna get it it's 450 bucks like I don't have that kind of money right now oh I do I just don't want to spend that much money on on the ps4 pro yeah. I'm like I I'm waiting until oh the fall to see if I can get a good deal on here's one. a question if you you are yeah. oh gosh you are getting. We're all yawning. You're all. <laughs> you took a nap, Jordan. You're supposed to be the. Awake oh no, one. I know. Um, uh, you're getting Destiny <laughs> Two. Are you getting it for PC? Yeah. Nope. Well, we not. And now it's a shame because if I had friends that played it on PC, I would get it on PC because it'll be way better on PC. But so what? What is so? That's yeah. your. That's your reason for not playing it on PC is just because you'll have friends that are getting on console. We have more people on PlayStation mm-hmm. that'll be playing. Like See, I had a, I, I would, had a. Sorry, I'm okay with making new friends if they're gonna be actually intru- as as <laughs> I. Uh, um, I saw in some of the comments and whatnot for when this was first being uh, talked about and whatnot when when they did the the most recent gameplay trailer for it or whatever I, I think it was at E3 or whatever. Um, was that, uh, you know, they need to have a matchmaking system. So if they have a matchmaking system and I can group up with random people like that much easier without using a third party site, like how I was doing for the first destiny, then, um, Mm -hmm. I'll be okay with that. And I'll probably be doing that. I mean, I'm already going to be getting it through Xbox because I console share with my brother, but if I were to play this seriously, I would probably get it on PC I'm gonna wait anyways yeah. to spend a single dime on it, but yeah, same. Um, the PC, I'm definitely not buying it on the PC. The bu- it comes the, out oh, so. uh, like a month after. I think it, it does come out a little later. Yeah. So yeah, if you're super eager to play the game, then you got to get it on consoles. But if you want to hold out and possibly have 
Keith. I mean, you can argue, yeah. Or no, I guess you can't really argue, but better graphics. Unless they, like, toned down the PC version. <laughs> oh, PC PC is going to win they wouldn't, uh, any, any day. <laughs> <laughs> what was the game? Didn't they yeah. do that for a game? They did that for uh, Watch Dogs, didn't they? Didn't they, like... I have no Didn't idea. They make the, That's a game series I never cared about. The, they, I think they made the game, the graphics for it, less, just so that it would be equal to uh, one of the under, other consoles or something. Oh, really? Yeah, and then people were like, oh, okay, cool, we can jailbreak this and make this look good, though. And so they did. Yeah, They, they did. <laughs> yeah, the nice. graphics were there. All they had to do was like, put a few lines of code in, and it activated them. So, Yeah. yeah. Uh, that was a whole oh, story. Yeah, the beta... St- Beta right. starts um, in five days on the PS4, and it starts uh, one day later on the Xbox. And then it says, if you cool. didn't pre-order, um, you can join um, the open beta on July 21st, and it will last until the 23rd. Cool. So I have a beta key, so maybe yeah. I'll try it out. To resting. I mean, I don't know if I'll get it on day one, but if... Like playing Taken King and the other expansions, like it seems like they've learned their lesson from the first one. So, uh, I'm hopeful that things are gonna go well this time. So, I mean, if I'm gonna buy it anyway, yeah. I, I don't see why I wouldn't just buy it on the first day. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna wait a little bit just to see, just to see. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I felt kind of burned on the first yeah. one, so. I mean, this is coming from me who, I, like, I know I'm going to play this one because I played a lot of the first one. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, we'll see. Okay. Well, that's an hour, so I guess uh, we'll wrap it up. kind of, like, went crazy there at the end with a bunch of random stuff, but... Yeah. That's okay. That's that's what this is all about. It's about chit-chatting with our bros, with our buddy pals, about games and such. So, thanks for listening, everyone. Uh, thanks for subscribing to the channel if you have. Thanks for liking this video. Um, and feel free to comment your opinions about something we talked about in the comment section below. Woo! Bye.